Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson captivated the press throughout their nine-month relationship. According to admirers, though, the romance was only another Kardashian PR stunt. Then, did Kim reject Pete's proposal just prior to their breakup? What was Pete's response to Kim's reported rejection of his proposal? Hello everyone, and welcome to Groovy News. Today, we'll be looking at how Pete Davidson claps back at Kim Kardashian for rejecting his proposal. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. It was stated that Kim and Pete broke up because of their hectic schedules and lack of time they had to spend with each other. According to their sources, due to their frequent work schedules and geographical separation, they decided to end their relationship and there was no bad blood between them. However, that wasn't exactly the case because Pete allegedly proposed to Kim Kardashian shortly before breaking up, and a source told Radar everything was just moving too fast. Kim wanted to slow things down, and instead, Pete proposed. He is devastated. Everyone warned him that he was going to push her away, but he didn't listen. Remember, this is the same guy that proposed to Ariana Grande after just a few weeks. Pete learned nothing from that relationship. He falls hard, and he falls fast. The news source also added, Kim is a great mom. She's fully committed to her kids, and any man she meets needs to know that Pete understood and was fine sharing him with her children, but he also wanted to get married yesterday. Kim has little time to deal with Pete's jealousy after dealing with Kanye, according to the insider because she's too busy dealing with Kanye. The necessity for additional content culminated in Kim's second journey to Australia, which strained their relationship. One follower commented on Twitter, Kim just needs to admit that Pete was a rebound. It's okay, we all have them. LOL. People have also asserted that the family utilizes the relationship to divert attention from other issues, such as the astral catastrophe. One individual said it was an elaborate PR ploy to make people forget about Astro World, and it worked. Obviously, I no longer hear people discussing Astro World. Another individual added, "Are we all going to disregard the fact that Kim Kardashian used Pete Davidson as a publicity gimmick to take attention away from the fact that Kylie and Travis Scott were responsible for the deaths of 10 people at Travis Scott's concert?" Also brought up was the fact that Chloe had a child during the breakup, and another person emphasized this by stating, "So everyone who's been following Pete and Kim knows that it wasn't the first time that the talk of proposals came up at the height of their love. Nor was it the first time that Kim rejected Pete's proposal. In his narrative, he stated, I was about to say why is no one talking about Pete proposing, but nobody knows yet and she said no. Maybe next time. Meanwhile, Pete proposed to Kim last week and she stated that it's not yet the right moment, but she hopes to have a child with him next year. There were even rumors of Kris Jenner's involvement, with the source claiming that Pete wants to propose, but you must sign a contract. Chris's perspective on the matter is that Kim requires a spouse that is compatible with her family and their long-term objectives. She desires Pete's commitment to the brand for the foreseeable future and complete control over all decisions pertaining to marriage and children. The insider said that she knows Pete would be a wonderful son-in-law and an asset to the Kardashian brand. Kim and Pete reportedly didn't want to spend any more time before taking the next step in their relationship. Hence, she was already making arrangements for a proposal. Thus, they decided to become engaged and begin wedding preparations. They did. He popped the question at his Staten Island condominium, and they're keeping it a secret for the time being. Kim never anticipated this, and she is ecstatic. Kim desires to spend the rest of her life with him because he is her true love. This time, the union will last. They also said that Pete proposed with his grandmother's ring, which Kim did not expect. This is why she was so moved, stating that it was incredibly nice and moving. Kim was crying. She's never met someone quite like Pete, and she envisions a bright future with him. She is completely convinced that he's the appropriate man for her. Obviously, the proposal was a hoax since Kim reportedly refused Pete, and he did not appear pleased. Pete is fighting and begging to save his relationship with Kim, according to a close source who also revealed too much. He's apparently approaching Kris Jenner and the Kardashian sisters for assistance in reaching Kim. Pete reportedly believes he can win Kim back, despite the fact that no one believes someone like Pete would ever date someone like Kim in the first place, but he did. According to followers, this could possibly be an attempt to promote the idea that men are vying for her attention or that she's too good for Pete and out of his league, and this narrative would be advantageous for Kim. Some have even stated that the rumors in the media that Kim is the one who got away are inaccurate because she may be the one which was discarded. Nonetheless, social media users continued to assert that Kim had used Pete, with followers adding comments like Kim Kardashian used Pete for recovery. It was so evident that the poor boy believed that he had won the lottery. Someone else stated, Honestly, it feels like Kim used Pete to boost her self-esteem, stay relevant, and get over Kanye. And I for one am sick of these ladies utilizing Pete to advance their careers. Because then where does he stand? He already suffers from mental health difficulties. Stop using him. 
In addition, Pete's followers felt empathy for him, especially since the split occurred around the same time. He stated in a heart to heart that his dream is to have children, not to mention how far he actually took things. Pete's spontaneity demonstrated to her that life does not need to be precisely scripted. Sometimes, acting on a whim is beneficial to the soul. Will Kim, however, regret the decision? We can't say for certain. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned.